Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today I'm going to be answering a question I got on one of my videos on YouTube. Um, it's sometimes faster to just make a video like this to do a reply or do a podcast or whatnot. So we'll figure out what I do with this video. But this is a situation. This person has a 2000 Ford F-150, 100,000 miles on it around there. And he's got a code popping up, or actually two codes popping up, a P0141 and a P0136. So both of those codes are going to be pertaining to the bank one sensor to oxygen sensor. So the driver's side downstream from the catalytic converter is the bank one sensor to oxygen sensor on that vehicle. The easy thing in this situation is going to be the oxygen sensor is bad. And when you do replace it, if you do, if you don't get a Motorcraft oxygen sensor for a Ford, your next best bet is a Bosch oxygen sensor. And always again, make sure you get a direct fit replacement, one that you can unplug and plug right back in. Never get a splice in. And if you're dealing with codes, you're chasing codes and you go look at it and your vehicle has a splice in oxygen sensor, one where you cut the wires and you put the new one on with uh, butt connectors and whatnot, just get rid of that and put a OEM direct fit replacement on. So. The P0141, that is a heater circuit malfunction. The P0136, that is a oxygen sensor out of range malfunction. The computer is seeing the oxygen sensor out of the parameters of where it should be operating. So, like I said, hopefully your oxygen sensor is bad and that would be an easy replacement. One thing to check and make sure that the oxygen sensor is bad and that you have connection to the computer, you don't have a bad ground somewhere, or you don't have like a cut in the wires or anything like that. If you have a power probe, this is a power probe three. It's really, really helpful in this situation. So it's not really gonna matter how much voltage you have at this time, but with the key on engine off, all four wires on the oxygen sensor coming from the computer or from the wiring harness, should have continuity so positive or ground it doesn't matter which one if you're reading something on this that would indicate or should indicate that you're actually making a connection to the computer now if one of those wires is not getting continuity or you're not getting anything off of the one of those wires you might have a break somewhere in the wire loom and you need to start chasing some wires so if this was my vehicle to sum it up if I had these codes and I had continuity at the connector, I would slap on an oxygen sensor, turn the code off or turn the check engine light off and go drive it for about 70 to 100 miles and pray that it stays off. If it does come back on, then I would assume that we're gonna have a wiring issue somewhere. But with this case, you have a circuit malfunction on the heater and a circuit malfunction on the sensor part itself. I would highly think that the oxygen sensor itself has gone bad. Hopefully this video does help you out, and if it did, if somebody else sees this and they're working on, on their own vehicle, make sure you comment below with the year, make, model of the vehicle it did help you on. And if you do end up replacing the oxygen sensor and it fixes your problem, so you replace it, you drive about 200, 300, 500 miles, and the light does not come back on, or it turned off by itself after you replace the sensor, let us know below. Let us know if this problem fixed your problem, or if it continues to come back on, let us know what your actual fix was. We could help other people out there as well. Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. I hope this video helped you out, and I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video.